Colonel Michael Tong. No one else interested in flying? Sergeant, I think Eddie is interested <laughs> to go fly kite. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Go and fly kite yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Be serious, cannot. Huh? Look, last call for compass test registration. Any more volunteers? Going once. Going twice. Count me in, Sergeant. Vanessa, can we talk, please? Van! <sighs> Mark, can you believe her? Grace is sleeping and she's slamming doors. I think she's upset about Gina bringing the lawyer in yesterday. Gina is just trying to help. So, you have decided to fight Vanessa for the custody of Grace? I'm still thinking about it. If you go to court, it will make things worse. But if I don't, then Vanessa will take Grace away from me. Before you take that step, I think it's best for you and Vanessa to sit and talk things through. Try your best to come to an amicable agreement first. Taking legal action should be your last resort. Hey, Makoto, hey. you do realize you can't mark for the compass test, right? True. But the least I can do is read up on it. Hey, check this out. It's an article written by those who've taken the test before. It's really quite useful. At least now, I know what to expect. The emphasis is on the ability to multitask, focusing on snap decision-making and psychomotor skills. If you're a gamer, it should be a breeze since this five-hour test also involves controlling joystick, trigger button and pedals. You see? Uh, you're lucky Uncle Eddie made you play computer games. Okay. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. <laughs> hey, Mike. Good luck for the test. Uh, thanks. You too. Hey, Julius. I never knew you were also interested to be a pilot. <laughs> I'm not. I volunteered so I can skip this afternoon's uh, bayonet fighting. Oh, no wonder. Chao King. You should have told me. Then I would have volunteered too. Eddie, too late. So, Mike, you reckon you're gonna ace this? I don't know, but I'll definitely try my best. Yeah, you try your best. Because the feeling will be really shook when I beat your score. Hey, don't get too ahead of yourself, huh? Mike, high score tong is gonna kick a butt. Is it? Let's see who kicks with butt. Who, 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 who? Go get the ointment ready for your bruises, huh? Go, 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 go. Show off. I hope it's virtual plane crashes and burns and he gets kicked out of the test. You better ace the test, Mike. Okay, I gotta go. Mm. Hey, don't let that Julius get to you, huh? You're a highly trained gamer by me. Hmm? Remember that? Do your Uncle Eddie proud. Good luck, Mike. Uh. Okay, don't forget, eh? Jot down on your calendar. Now. <laughs> okay, 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 thank you. Bye. Ma, why are you so busy, eh? Organising some gathering, is it? You forgot, ah? Eh? Hmm? Rian's Chuko Rambut. Oh, yeah. Time flies. I forgot Rian's first month is coming up. Okay, it's next Sunday. We'll do it just before breaking fast. All relatives and friends will be invited. Uh, Ma. How much do you think Lina will be spending this time around? Hey man, this is your son, you know. He only turns one month old once. Don't be stingy, can you? If all the four are black, which one is this? Careful, it's hot. Auntie Lian? It's Grace, she's been coughing non-stop. Does she have a fever? I checked her temperature, it's normal, but her mucus is yellowish. I'll go take a look. Uh, bring her to Dr. Basker. I'll call him and let me know to expect you. Okay, ma. Tada! The venue for MWSN fundraising event, how? Huh? Not bad, quite grand. This place sure to attract all the big shots. Hmm. And I'm assuming you've settled the catering as well. 
Of course, thanks to your contact. I hope you saved the number in your phone or somewhere. So, how many vegetarian meals did you order? Vegetarian meals? Madam Fatima, are you forgetting we have guests who are vegetarians? Ah, right. Don't worry, small issue. I fix it. I thought I saved his number. Uh, Mira, do you have the caterer number? How is she, Dr. Basker? It's just normal cold. Nothing serious. And are you going to prescribe medicine? No, there's no need for that. We need to build up your baby's immune system. A mild cold with no complications should go away by itself within a couple of weeks. However, you need to monitor her temperature. <laughs> Fever could develop into cool, pneumonia or serious illness, especially for a baby below three months old. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Baska. <laughs> There's no need to worry about the baby for now. So, Vanessa, are you still having cold sweats? You have cold sweats? I was having fever the other day and I came to see Dr. Baska. But, but I'm okay now. Maybe it's caused by all that stress of looking after this little princess. Your mummy's little princess, aren't you? Hmm? Vanessa, why didn't you tell me you're not feeling well? I could have looked after Grace. I can cope. You couldn't even handle her this morning. Ben is right, Vanessa. You can't do this alone. You need support. Don't worry, Dr. Baska. I'll take care of her. I'll make sure that she and Grace has all the support that she needs. Okay, so we'll finish off our Queenstown Heritage Trail here at the ABC Market, yeah? And then we can have lunch there. That's a great idea. Mm. So I'll contact you next week if there are any changes. Actually, I won't be around, but you can contact Mr Chua. Oh, oh, why? I'll be on leave for the next few weeks. I see. Okay. Well, I better get going before the bank closes. Okay. So see you. Bye, Mrs. Tong. Bye, Mrs. Pereira. Bye, Mrs. Pereira. Bye. Here you go. Hi. Um, how's Grace? Uh, Grace is okay. It's just a slight flu. But someone else is under the weather. I'm okay. Dr. Basker says that you're having a slight fever. So you need to have rest and medication. I still need to feed and bathe Grace. Ben can bathe her and I'll prepare the milk bottle. You won't recover if you don't rest. Yeah. You need to stay healthy to look after your grace. How can you take care of your daughter if you can't even take care of yourself? Okay, I'll go. Well, thanks, Ben. Thanks, Auntie Leanne. There's no need to thank us. Um, bring Grace to your room. I'll be right up. Okay, ma. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Careful. Hey. Don't worry. She won't be able to keep Grace away from us. She needs you and Ben too much. I hope so. Okay, I need as soon as possible, okay? Thank you. Good news, ladies. The caterer will send vegetarian menu over. Madam Fatima, we are looking at the budget. In the last meeting, we agreed to hire 30 waiters to serve 500 odd guests. 10 is not enough. Okay, I fix it. Then, the staging and banner cost is not here. I fix it. Is decoration also included in the ballroom rental or do we have to power our own decoration? That's not the only thing missing from here. We also need microphones and hire a sound technician as well. You don't expect our guest of honour to shout his speech, do you? Okay, okay, I fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. If you did not mess it, you don't have to fix anything. I'm the chairperson of TLC. I fix it. Yo, what should I do? Well done, man, Mike. You aced the compass test. Thanks, Eddie. And it's all thanks to the computer games I asked you to play. Yeah. See? Uncle Eddie knows you the best. I could have done better if the guy next to me didn't hit the keyboard so hard. Yeah, yeah, excuses. If you cannot make it, just say you cannot make it. I passed, okay? Did you do as well as Mike? Hmm? Did you? Did you? I, uh, anyway, you only took the test because you wanted to skip bayonet fighting means you don't really care, right? 
as long as you pass the test, you have a chance to move on to the next stage. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. Hey guys, better pack up. Still need to stand by bed before I book out. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Hey. Feeling any better? Yeah. How's Grace? Grace is fine. Ma is feeding her now. Thanks for taking care of her. Vanessa, come on. What's with the thanks? She's my daughter too. I'll make a move first. Ben. You want to say something? About the birth set? I'm sorry. I was scared and... I don't want to lose my daughter. And, and this morning I realised that I can't do this alone. Grace needs you. I need you. You and Grace are all I have. Get some rest, yeah. So, hey, what's that? Uh, Ryan, you got a rambo plan, huh? Can I see? Oh, no. I'm still thinking about the dog gifts. I'll show you what I've got once it's done. Okay? Sayang. Yep. Uh, you remember my friend Farid? Yeah. His son's cukur rambut was just a small and simple ceremony. He held it in his house and only close friends and relatives were invited. Yeah, I remember. Small, simple and boring. Sayang, ours cannot be boring. This is our first born. Wah, God did this? No way, man. That was my initial reaction as well. Diana. What? That's Chris we're talking about, Ma. Okay, get food and drinks for them. I'll leave you to catch up. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. And you better not mess up the place. If you mess up, you better clean up, otherwise I'm going to throw you out, understand? Yes, Sergeant. Ah, yes, Sergeant, yes, Sergeant. Better go get food for my friends. <laughs> anyway, sure. So, how's the interview? I think I did okay. See you at uni. Nice. But there will be two years' time. We'll be there seniors. Yeah, great. Thanks to NS. Oh, have you heard? Mike did very well for his campus test. Really? Congrats, Mike. Thanks. So you get to fly those F-15s? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Duh. Better get used to calling him Captain Tong. Guys, come on. That's only the first stage. There's much longer to go. Anyway, hey, Pam. So, how's the job? Oh, have I told you guys about this choke toilet at the food hey, hey, Save it for later. Let's eat first. Yeah. I just heard her snore. My girl doesn't snore. Ah, there you go. Mom made this for you. Thanks. It's hot, yeah. Uh, I'll take a shower, finish it. Yeah. Yes, Dad. Hey. Is Ben here? He's in the shower. I'll wait for him downstairs then. Why did you have to come between me and Ben? Excuse me? Ben is the father of my child. Grace, Ben and I, we're a family. So you know what that makes you? A home wrecker. Why can't you just leave us alone? Ah, Grandma still makes the best coffee. It's so good to be back. It's good to have you back, Mike. Hey, Eddie! I want to hear the story about you having to greet and salute the flagpole. Eddie! Is texting Xiao Wei? Is she coming over? Eddie! Hmm? Is she coming over? Yeah, later. 
She's going shopping with her sister first. Aw, poor Eddie. Sister over boyfriend. Hey, soldier. I don't know how you're going to survive field camp. No phones allowed. Hey, that's why I need to see her this weekend, right? Why did you bring a lawyer here then? Ben is Grace's father. He has the right to do his duty as a father to her. Don't give me that, okay? You just want to take Ben and Grace away from me. What's going on? Ben, remember your promise? What promise? He promised to take care of me, not just Grace. And he said he'll give me whatever support I needed. And right now, Grace and I need you as a family unit, with no third party in the picture. Must be her fever. Ben, you coming? Ben. Gina. I need to check on Grace. She's having a fever. Does this mean you're giving up on a fight for custody? How can I separate Grace from her mother? Just stay here and wait for me, okay? I'll check on Grace and I'll come back and talk to you. Sam. Hmm? Mm, you done with the planning for Ryan's Chukurambut ceremony? Almost. Five. I see. Mm. We're doing it at home? Of course. Renting a venue outside is extra cost, you know. Of course, sayang. It's a good idea to do it at home. And also for the dog gifts, what do you think of bookmarks with Rian's photo on it? Bookmarks? Yeah. It's cheap and useful to DIY. Unless you have something else in mind? Uh, no, no, no. Of course not. Yeah, DIY bookmarks. Very good idea. I can take the photo and print them. Yeah, and we can order food and drinks from Auntie Lian. I'm sure she'll give us a good discount. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Yeah, I know ever since we have Rian, we have to watch our spending. Billy, what brings you here? Mira, sorry. Sorry? For what? I've been thinking and thinking and thinking. That's a lot of thinking. Yeah, gave me a headache. It's my fault. I let the Fatima be the chairperson for TLC. At the rate that she's going, she's going to mess up the whole fundraising event. Destroy the name of Tangling Lady Circle. Oh, where are we going to put our face? Calm down, Billy. We'll work something out. Okay, calm down. Heidi. Hey, Xiao Wei. Hi. Bye, guys. Wait, you're leaving already? Hey, Xiao Wei, join us. Tell us what you see in Eddie because none of us here can actually see it. Hey, don't listen to them. Excuse me, my book out time is very precious. No time to talk nonsense with all of you. Hmm. So, what are you going to do? Uh, play video games, watch a movie, Hey, Bota! You're back! <laughs> Hi, Ko. Ko, that's all. Hello. Uh, yeah, you gotta go. Mm, bye, Ko. Ko, that's all. Bye. Ko, I go put in your tapa order. Okay. Chris, thanks. Thanks for helping us to pay the gym was today. Oh, that's all. Uh, no problem. Anytime. I know you're still upset with him about Felicia, but I really think he's changed for the better. Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? Michael. We came to pick up dinner. And your mama told Wati not to cook tonight. I see. Are you ready to leave? We can go back together once we collect the food. Can, but uh, can you just give me a second? I go use the toilet. Okay. Help her. Can we do that or not? She doesn't want our help. And if we help her, she's going to take all the credit for the event's success. And nobody will know how bad she is. Hmm. That's true. If everything goes badly, she will blame everybody except herself. And if everything goes smoothly, she will take the credit for herself. She made all those decisions and refused our help. So, let her take responsibility for it. Okay, on. Um, let her be. 
Mm. I feel so much better talking to you. <sighs> Help yourself to the biscuits. Gina. Go back upstairs. She needs you. No, Gina, listen to me, okay? I'm very sorry. You, you saw what happened upstairs. How can I break them up? And Vanessa and I are over, you know that. Is it really over? Of course. This is the third time, Ben. What third time? The third time that Vanessa's come back into your life. Third time she's turned it upside down and you're still letting her. Gina, this time is different. It's different. Maybe she's right. Maybe you two do belong together. That's why she keeps coming back and you keep letting her. Gina, listen to me. Let's break up. And what's the point of dragging this out? Whether you want to admit it or not, you've made your decision. And we both know that it's not me. I'm gonna walk away now, okay? Promise me you won't follow me. I don't do drama, Ben. All I know is I've never been so weak and jealous. And I'm so angry with myself for being like this. I don't like the way I've become, Ben. So please just let me walk away with my pride intact while I still can, okay? I wish you all the best. Sergeant, what are you waiting for? Your lollipop. Go and help your platoon mates out. Yes, Sergeant. I see. So slow. How are you going to even make the timing? Even your men are doing a better and faster job than you. How? Uh, sorry, Sergeant. How are they going to look up to a leader that can't do a better and faster job than them? Huh? Look, you don't have much time. You better make sure that everybody's basha is ready before you come and report to me. Yes, Sergeant. Understand? Yes, Sergeant. <laughs> 